katanya dua jam. Uh, dah boleh start sih, eh, dah boleh start, dah nak start Sir, sir nak tanya sekejap, uh, kalau present tu campur BMBI boleh ke sir? Uh, untuk explain boleh lah Okay, okay, thank you sir Alright, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, We are from group 5, uh, we will be presenting on uh, 2.2 frequencies Next now radio frequency uh, first thing uh, we need to know that all radio based communications use some form of modulation now modulation can come uh, with different type of modulation for for radio based communication the modulation of of its frequency called as radio frequency uh, radio frequency starts when radio waves are generated from RF transmitter and picked up by a receiver at another location. Uh, if we see at the image over there, uh, radio frequency starts uh, usually will be counted at the start of the wave and ended at, at the first wave of the frequency. Next. In radio frequency, uh, signal there are four elements which is frequency amplitude wavelength and phase from the image from the diagram uh, we can see two of uh, three three of the elements which is the frequency itself the wave uh, the wavelength which is counted from point to point and then the amplitude which is the the size of the frequency um how fast the wave travel or more specifically how many waves are generated over one second period of time is known as frequency next Tak dengar suara. Test, test, tak dengar. Test. Slow, slow. Pak Sik, buat mic dalam mulut kan? Saya tak boleh patah puasa. Test, 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 test. Dengar. Ada. Volume takat tu je. Pakai earphone ke apa ni? Pakai earphone. Haa, earphone tu kena tukar tu. Earphone. Dia uh, pun ada sampai masa dia, dia tak dia tak kuat kuat. Ke ada ada boleh laras. Test test. Okey lah, kau sikitlah nanti kita nanti recording dia orang buka volume kau buka lah. Okey. So uh, saya akan present untuk wavelength Okay, untuk wavelength, uh, wavelength is the distance between two successive crests, which is peaks, or two successive throws, which is valleys of a wave pattern. Okay, jadi untuk wavelength ni, dia maksud dia, dia jarak antara dua peaks. Peaks tu maksud dia ni lah, puncak. Uh, puncak ni yang dia, kalau kita tengok graf ni, dia positif. Maksudnya yang ke atas ni, uh, ni dia punya ni lah, maksudnya peak lah. So untuk valley, uh, yang bawah ni lah, uh, yang negatif ni. So uh, tu lah, tu maksudnya wavelength. Uh, okay, lepas tu wavelength is the distance that a single cycle of an radio frequency signal actually travels. Uh, dia menunjukkan ni lah jarak untuk single cycle radio frequency signal sebenarnya akan ni lah, actually akan travels. Uh, okay, next. 
Next slide. Okay. Um, what is the this difference between 2.45 gigahertz and 5.775 gigahertz wavelength? Okay, untuk perbezaan 2.45 gigahertz dengan 5.75 gigahertz ni. Uh, okay, macam kita sudah tahu yang frekuensi ni dia merujuk kepada ni lah. Uh, bilangan cycle uh, untuk wave tu uh, melengkapi satu saat. Uh, jadi dia ni dia diukur dalam hertz. Okay, untuk kes ni kalau kita tengok kat graf ni. Uh, 2.45 GHz ni uh, dia ada ni lah lower frekuensi lah daripada 5.775 GHz ok untuk wavelength uh, wavelength is the distance between two corresponding points in wave cycle jadi uh, untuk wavelength ni dia bersifat ni lah kalau kita dalam bahasa fizik ni bersifat Berkadar sorong-sorong lah dengan frekuensi. Jadi um, untuk uh, 2.45 GHz ni, uh, frekuensi 2.45 GHz ni, dia sebabkan dia berkadar sorong-sorong, maksudnya semakin panjang dia punya wavelength ni, maksud dia makin lower dia punya frekuensi. Ha, macam tu lah bahasa mudah je lah untuk wavelength. Okay, uh, next. Uh, okay. Okay, untuk wavelength and coverage distance. Okay. Untuk dari segi ni lah. Dari segi coverage. Ada, uh, dari segi coverage. Uh, ada dua ni lah, ada dua aspek lah. Satu signal penetration dengan satu data transfer rate. Okay, untuk signal penetration ni, um, frekuensi yang rendah uh, boleh ni lah, boleh penetrate uh, walls ataupun kata apa, dinding lah atau pepejal lah. Uh, better daripada higher frequency rate. Okay, macam ada setengah kes bila mana kalau kita guna wifi dan kita nak dapatkan coverage untuk satu bangunan bangunan rumah atau pejabat biasanya kita akan pilih ni lah akan pilih 2.45 GHz lah sebab dia low frequency so low frequency dia, dia boleh ni lah penetrate world lebih better daripada high frequencies lepas tu untuk data transfer rate biasanya Uh, akan guna ni lah higher frequency lah frekuensi yang lagi, lagi tinggi uh, macam dalam kes ni biasanya kalau kita nak uh, streaming video uh, yang memerlukan ni lah uh, transfer rate yang tinggi uh, better guna ni lah guna 5.775 gigahertz untuk uh, untuk ni lah data transfer rate ok next Selamat malam Pak Datu. Saya nama Arif Sabri. Um, I'm presenting about frequency. Uh, frequency is the rate of change with respect to time. Ah, uh, kita boleh faham kalau high frequency bermaksud Uh, dalam satu keadaan masa yang pendek, uh, perubahan uh, akan berlaku. Uh, kalau low frequency dalam masa uh, perubahan akan berlaku dalam masa dalam keadaan masa yang panjang. Jadi, uh, zero frequency means no change, does not change at all. While infinite frequency is means no change instantaneously. Jadi, uh, frequency maksud sebenarnya uh, uh, tiada perubahan itu ya, berarti ya. Uh, di static ya. kalau infinite frequencies bila perubahan berlaku uh, banyak perubahan berlaku dalam masa yang uh, singkat uh, next next is frequency measurement uh, 
uh, the unit used as a measurement. The unit is as a standard measurement of frequency is hard. Uh, and when that occurs once in one second has three of one side. Dalam satu saat, kalau berlaku satu cycle, ini yang diberi adalah satu hat. Kalau dalam satu saat, satu cycle berlaku, satu kilo hat. And kalau satu million cycle per second, satu mega hat. Kita boleh tengok dalam gambar dekat bawah ni, tiap satu cycle yang, apa, yang uh, cycle uh, 360 degrees, adalah satu hat. So if three cycle happen, then the unit is tiga hat. Uh, saya serah kepada presenter presenter session. Assalamualaikum. Um, saya akan terangkan tentang amplitude. Amplitude can be defined as the maximum displacement of a continuous wave. Kalau tengok kat gambar sebelah tu, the amplitude correspond to the electrical field of the wave. Hmm. RF signal using and when you using oscilloscope, the amplitude is represented by the positive crest and negative truth of the sine wave. Uh, lambda tu dia represent for the wavelength and A represent for the amplitude. Uh, next. Uh, how to know strong or less amplitude? First, kalau kat gambar first tu, the first signal crest and true have more magnitude. Mm, thus, the signal has more amplitude. Uh, while the second one, signal crest and true have decreased magnitude and therefore the signal has less amplitude. Uh, next. Transmit or receive amplitude. Signal strength in land amplitude is usually called as either transmit amplitude or receive amplitude. For the transmit amplitude, uh, it's typically defined as the amount of initial amplitude that leave the radio transmitter. For example, if you configure an access point to transmit at 50 milliwatt that that this that transmit is amplitude cable and connector will attenuate the transmit amplitude while most antenna will amplify the transmit amplitude when the radio receive an rf signal that receives signal strength we call it as receive amplitude RF signal strength measurement taken during a site survey is an example of received amplitude. Different type of RF technology require different degrees of transmit amplitude. For AM radio station may transmit narrow band signal with just much as power as 50 watt, while the radio used in most indoor access point have a transmit power range between 1 milliwatt and 100 milliwatt. For Wi-Fi radius, uh, can receive signal with just amplitude as low as billion of milliwatt. So, uh, Assalamualaikum. Nama saya Adi Iqbal bin Hisham dan saya akan menerangkan tentang phase. So, um, phase is not a property of just one RF signal but instead involves the relationship between two or more signals that share the same frequency. The phase involves the relationship between the position of the amplitude, crest and troughs of two waveforms. Phase can be measured in distance, time or degrees if the peaks of two signals with the same frequency are in exact alignment it is called a phase. If not, it is not. So, kat sini dia pretty self-explanatory. Dia nak cakap yang phase ni dia involve hubungan antara amplitude dan troughs. Troughs tu lurah yang ke bawah tu of two waves. So, kalau puncak dua waves dalam satu frekuensi tu sama, so dia kira macam dalam satu phase. Um, kalau dia tak sama jadi dia not in one phase lah. 
So uh, for next slide ni ditunjuk ada empat jenis phase and waveform. So for the first one is main signal. So main signal ni signal kita nak refer dalam satu sistem atau atau uh, salur saluran komunikasi. Uh, so second yang second one is in phase signal. In phase signal ni signal yang selaras dengan main signal atau reference signal in terms of phase. So kalau 90 degree out of phase signal ni ialah puncak puncak satu wave berlaku pada masa sama dengan trough gelombang uh, lain. So 18 yang 180 degree out of phase signal pula dia, dia sama je puncak satu wave berlaku pada masa sama tapi in the opposite direction. So maksudnya dua-dua signal yang kat bawah tu dia dua-dua signal not in phase. So for last we have phase separation. So signals that have zero degree phase separation actually combine their amplitude which results in, rece in a received signal of much greater signal strength potentially as much as twice the amplitude. Ni dia nak kata satu signal dengan pu dengan puncak satu lagi itu sama. Uh, amplitude satu signal dengan amplitude satu lagi signal itu sama. So dia akan combine which will make it which will make the signal dua kali lebih kuat. So if two RF signals are 180 degrees out of phase, the peak of one signal it is in exact alignment with the trough of the second signal they cancel out each other. So ni kalau satu puncak tu they align dengan satu lurah signal lain. So they akan cancel out each other. Uh, so phase separation has a cumulative effect depending on the amount of phase separation of two signals the received signal strength may differ either increase or diminish. The phase difference between two signals is very important to understand the effects of an RF phenomenon known as multipath. So itu saja daripada saya. Sekian terima kasih. Alright, so thank you group two. Any question? Tepuk, tepuk. Paling tak tepuk kan. Tak dengar ke tak? Jangan cakap explain lagi kan? In bahasa. Okay, so if uh, no question, uh, so we conclude class today with Tasbih Kifara and Surah Tua As. Tentu, jangan lupa clock out lah. Okay. <laughs>